Hey recorder players, welcome to week four of Recorders Without Borders. My name is Ruri Patterson and I'm really glad you're here for another week of learning about music and learning about the recorder, okay? On our agenda this week, we are gonna learn a brand new note, one note every week, that's our plan. Um, we're gonna learn a little bit about jazz and we're gonna learn a piece I wrote, the last piece of mine that I wrote especially for you um, called Shorter's Strut and it sounds a little like this. Sounds pretty cool, right? I can't wait to teach it to you. But first, let's recap what we know. Okay, so here's what we know about the recorder so far. We know left hand on top, okay? And right hand supports the weight of the recorder. That's gonna be very, very important today, okay? We know how to play B, A, and G, okay? B, A, and G. And we know how to play with a beautiful sound and we know how to articulate, use our tongues to start a note to make that kind of rhythmic, crisp and clean start, okay? So, let's, let's just play the three notes we know, okay? So we're just gonna play a B for four counts, an A for four counts, and a G for four counts, okay? Here we go, with me. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's just do that one more time and check that your notes sound exactly like mine. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, B, A, and G. We'll just do a close up just to make sure we're super good with that. Okay, so B is right here. A, add one finger. G adds another finger, okay? So these fingerings are like, they're like additive, okay? We're adding something on, not moving what happened before, okay? And that's exactly what we have to do to learn note E. Okay, so note E, okay? Let's first Go back to our G fingering, okay? So G is one, two, three fingers at the top. Your pointer finger, middle finger, and ring finger. Your pinky just hangs out in midair, okay? You don't actually need your pinky to play the recorder. You could, you could lose one pinky on either hand um, and still be a great recorder player, okay? So for E, we are gonna add two fingers on our right hand this time, okay? So we're gonna add our pointer finger and our middle finger so we have the top five holes of the recorder covered, okay? Top five holes. One, two, three, four, five, okay? Now, the thing with E is we're using more holes, more than we've ever used before, okay? Five, well, counting the thumb hole, six holes need to be covered for this to, to work, okay? So that's a lot of places for leaks. So don't, don't be frustrated if you don't get this the first time. It might take a little bit of practice, okay? So your E should sound like this. Okay, it's got a nice low sound because we're getting lower in the instrument, okay? So once again, we're covering the top five holes of the recorder you need to use your pointer finger and your uh, middle finger on your right hand, okay? And your thumb, your thumb should be just hanging out around here, around this part of the recorder, okay? Okay, so let's try playing an E together. After four, we're just gonna hold an E for four counts and make sure that your recorder sounds exactly like mine. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's do that one more time. One, two, three, four. 
Okay, that low sound is what we're looking for. Here's a common mistake. Okay, if you get that high sound, then that means you have a leak somewhere. Okay, sound like that, it's not very nice. Um, you just have to double check your fingers. So remember the Cheerios test? You press really hard for a second. Okay, and then you look at your hands to see if you see full circles, okay? Full circles, that's what we're looking for. So that's E. Let's now practice going between E and all the other notes, okay? So we did the baga baga bagab last week. This week would be called the bagega bagega bagegab. Bagega bagega bagegab. The bagega bagega bagegab. Say it after me three times really fast. Bagega bagega bagegab. Bagega bagega bagegab. Bit of a tongue twister, okay? But that is just a kind of fun way of remembering going B. A, G, E, G, A, B, okay? And we can just repeat that little pattern, okay? So we're going down to E, back up to B, okay? One more time, so we're going B, A, G, E, G, A, B, okay? And let's do one count per note. So we're gonna go Okay, makes sense? We'll just loop that a few times to practice going between these notes, okay? One, one thing before we do. This is a cool thing about the human body called muscle memory, okay? Muscle memory, Google it if you've never heard of it, but the essence of it is if you practice a particular movement or motion with your body enough times, enough times, if you spend like 10 hours, doing the big egg, big egg, big egg, okay? Eventually, you'll be so good at going between B, A, G, and E, you won't even have to think about doing it. It'll be like breathing or drinking soda out of a can or something, okay? Or riding a bicycle if you, if you know how to ride a bicycle. You don't think about doing those things. They're now intuitive, okay? And the recorder can be exactly the same. So when we're practicing these little motions, trying to train our muscle memory, okay? So, let's try that. B, A, G, A, G, A, B. One note per count, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, and you'll hear I was lightly um, articulating every note with my tongue just to make it nice and clear. Okay, you can you can do that also. Um, we can speed that up because um, we need to get faster. Okay, it's good to get a little faster each time. Okay, but keep challenging yourself. Okay, so let's do that a little faster. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's do it even faster. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, if you keep doing this and practicing and practicing and practicing and getting so good at going between B, A, G, and E, you'll eventually be able to do it this fast. Okay, super, super fast. Um, but that's the, that's where muscle memory can take you, okay? Okay, so practice that one at home and make sure you get really, really good at playing that low E. You're gonna need it for shorter strut. Okay, so let's learn my tune, Shorter's Strut. I named this after the living legend, 
Wayne Shorter, an incredible jazz saxophone player and composer. And when I was writing this for you, I, it, what I was writing kind of reminded me of Shorter's work with Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers in the late 50s and early 60s, okay? So I'm gonna post a link uh, to a video of, of their music, and if you are interested, you should go and click that link and check them out, okay? So, Shorter Strut, it uses all four notes that we know now, B, A, G, and E, okay? And there's a very important rhythm that we, that we need to know before we start playing, okay? So, start clicking, right? And if you can't click, just tap your leg or clap, okay? So, this click is on the two and four of my count. So it's kind of acting like a, like a snare drum or a hi-hat on the drum kit, okay? So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's where I'm feeling this, okay? And we need this rhythm, da, da, okay? So I want you to repeat after me, and if you can keep clicking, then keep doing that, okay? Da, da. Da 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 Okay? That's the rhythm we need. And the notes that go with this rhythm are okay B A Okay, so repeat after me. B A a G A G G E G E G E G E B A B A A G A G G E G E G E G E Okay? So that's the first part of my song. I'm gonna play it for you one time and then we can try it together. So we're going like this. B, A, A, G, G, E, G, E. Okay? I'll play it now. And I'll count myself in so you know where it, where it comes in the, in the beat, right? One, two, three, four. Okay, I'll slow that down one time and then we can try it together, okay? One, two, three, four. Okay, try this with me at that tempo, that nice, slow and easy tempo. So remember, we're going B, A, and we stay on A and go A, G, then we stay on G and we go G, E, and then one more time, G, E, okay? Going from G to E is gonna be the hardest, okay? Because that's our new movement, okay? Using our right hand. And here's a tip I remember, okay? <clears throat> it's no use to have super flappy fingers when, when playing the recorder, okay? You wanna give yourself the best chance of being really accurate with your fingers. So, you don't need to move them very far. They just need to kind of hover above the recorder, okay? You don't need to do a big flap. You're not a bird. You're not gonna fly away with your recorder, okay? Just gonna do a little kind of, see how, see how small this movement is. Okay, that's all the movement you need to do, okay? So, Focus on that when you're playing this tune. That's gonna help you out, okay? And always make sure that your fingers are hovering over the correct holes, okay? So do a little check, okay? So one, two, three on the left hand, one, two on the right hand, okay? Here we go. 
<coughs> shortest strut. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the first section of my tune, right? Let's try the first section a little bit faster. One, two, three, four. Let's just do that one more time to get it into our uh, into our brains and into our muscle memory. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, go. Okay. And I'm just doing some mouth percussion to keep us uh, lined up, okay? Don't mind that. Um, so that's, that's section one. Section two goes like this. Okay, so that's section two. Did you notice how many A's I played at the beginning? Was it seven, eight, or nine? Out of time. It was eight, okay? So I played eight A's. So the start of section two, we're gonna play eight A's, all right? So try that with me. One, two, three, four. Okay, very good. I knew you could count to eight. You're smart, smarter than me. Um, then after our eight A's, we do the same ending as the first section. So G, E, G, E, okay? So let's do that. Let's do eight A's and then G, E, G, E. Okay, got it? One, two, three, four. Okay. Super good. The second half of part two of the song is a sort of repeat of the first half of part two. Okay, so we're gonna do eight A's again, and then one, one G E this time, and then one long A to finish, okay? So listen to the second half of part two. Okay, that's the second half of part two. Try that with me. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's try the whole of part two. Eight A's, G E G E, eight A's, one G E, then a long, a long A to finish off. Okay, here we go. One, two, Three, four. Okay, I think there's a little, a uh, little bit of uh, saliva, a little, little bit too much moisture in my, in my, in my recorder, so. If that happens to you, you can just kind of blow through the uh, through the window at the front here, and it will kind of uh, disperse. So sometimes it can kind of block the sound. Like maybe you heard it, um, but no big deal. So I think we could play the whole of shorter strut. Okay. So just to recap, real quick: B A A G G E G E. Then all that again. B A A G G E G 
E. Then part two, eight A's, A, 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 G, E, G, E. And again, A, 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 G, E, A. Okay, and that last note, that A, comes in a, comes in a funny place. So when we, play, when we play it together with the, with the track, watch me for the placement of that, okay? I'll go like, <gasps> right? So let's try to play the whole thing and then we can put it with the track and it'll be super, super fun. Okay, so here we go. Last, last uh, practice through of Shorter's Strut. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. Okay, and that's the whole song. I think you got it. You sounded really good from over here, all the way in Scotland. I heard you over the Atlantic, and you sounded really, really good. And if you're not, <laughs> if you're not in North America, then wherever you play in the world, I heard you, and you sounded great. Okay, so let's put the, let's put this this melody with a track and have a really good time. Okay, see you in a sec. Okay, so let's play Shorter's Strut together. Okay, I've got my backing track here. I'm gonna click play and you'll hear the normal one, two, one, two, three, four, and then we are in, okay? We're gonna play the melody two times through at the beginning. Then, because it's a tribute to Wayne Shorter, I'm gonna take a little saxophone solo. And when I'm playing saxophone, I want you to click, okay? On two and four, just like we were doing earlier in the lesson, okay? And there'll be clicks on the track to guide you, okay? After the saxophone solo, we are gonna play uh, one, once through the melody on the way out, and we're done, okay? So, I'm gonna click play, good luck, you're gonna do just fine. One, two, one, two, three, four.
hey, you sounded great. What a fantastic job, okay? Thanks for hanging out with me and learning uh, my new song, Shorter's Strut. I wrote just for you. Um, that was week four of Recorders Without Borders. I will see you next week. Have a great one.